Some ominous developments out of China on a new illness. Officials there have just confirmed the first human-to-human -human transmission of coronavirus. A deadly virus appears to be spreading quickly in China, prompting officials in the U.S. to take protective steps to prevent an outbreak here. The first case of the deadly Chinese coronavirus making its way to the U.S. State by state, residents now being ordered to stay indoors. All school buildings will be closed for the remainder of this school year. What's up, everybody? How does it feel that y'all completed another year of high school? Some of y'all, y'all first, some of you, your last, and there was a lot of times we probably thought we weren't gonna even be able to get through this. But we did it, corona and all. We have one of the most, if not the most, talked about program in Miami-Dade County, probably even the state of Florida. I have some of the most talented kids in the world. Everybody wants to be y'all. At Crop, Northwestern, New Orleans, Central, New World, American Senior High, Braddock, the list goes on and on and on and on. And that is just a testament to the work that you all have done and the work that you all do constantly every single day. I cannot stop thinking about y'all or bragging about y'all. Every time somebody comes up to me in reference to my job, you all are always the first things they talk about. You make me look good. <laughs> and the only thing I can say about that is thank you. Um, I really miss coming to work every day. And I really miss seeing all of your faces. And... I miss you all supporting each other and cheering for each other when you all achieve something great. No matter if it's something as small as somebody that wasn't able to tap a week ago, now knowing how to do a leap shuffle ball change. No matter if it's a note that somebody hits that they weren't able to hit before, if they were able to sell a monologue or a scene the way that they didn't do it before. I also miss the laughs. <laughs> when somebody trips and falls or messes up. I miss just being able to walk in my classroom and know that whatever happens during the day, as time goes on, everything would have happened for a reason and that the ending product of whatever we do is going to be great. And I can't wait to get back to that. And I know that this is our new normal for a while, but the second we get used to this new normal, this is second, we're gonna have to get used to the old one again. And I just can't wait to see y'all. And I hope that this video and this look through time <laughs> and seeing everything that we've accomplished thus far and everything we will accomplish in the future, I pray that you all will be able to get a lot of laughs from this and a lot of good memories. And when we see each other, which will be very soon, it's gonna be like we never left. If I was an old girl, it's time to pee in the cat. After the news.
Hello.
can't have. To my oh so talented class of 2020, I'm so, so proud of y'all. Of y'all high school theater experience, I think y'all went through the most. Coming in in ninth grade, having Stu, having Stu get put back in English, and then going through y'all year of Turok, and then having a third teacher within three years. And I'm quite sure a good amount of you, if not most of you, were not excited for probably another year of potential disappointment in your high school theater career. And a lot of y'all parents were ready to take y'all out, as they should have been. And I'm so happy that they didn't, and I'm so happy that we were able to spend this time together, and we were able to grow together, and laugh together, and cry together. I'm going to go one by one. Benny, <laughs> when I first met you, I was so amazed by how truly gifted you were, how naturally gifted. And me looking at you walking around the school, I really used to think that you were one of those white boys who pretended to be black, and I thought you were probably like a bad apple in a sense. <laughs> and I'm so happy I got the time to take to know you because you are such a sweetheart and such a teddy bear. So gifted. I love you so much. <laughs> Joy, oh my God. You were so aggravating. Since the moment I met you in the seventh grade to the end, you were aggravating. But you are so talented beyond measure, and I don't even think you realize like how good you actually are. Not that I don't even think you realize, you don't realize it. And the second you can put that to the side, you can achieve anything you want to in life. I can't wait to see your future if you do what you need to do with it. And also taking all of your snacks and eating them. That was hilarious. Jaden, 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 my ditzy ditzy boy <laughs> all of our car rides together every day of the summer and me having to fight with your mama consistently to keep you with me and me really teaching you to appreciate musical theater on all of those car rides and you just being so eager from the jump and just wanting to learn more and then your passionate hate for Aida <laughs> Jermaine, my baby bird, my mini me. I think every favorite moment of mine is every life lesson and life experience I was able to give you, even when you weren't all that receptive to it. <sighs> I really told the class that one time during the summer when I first had you, if y'all don't want to be here, y'all can just go and sit down after I cut the AC off and made y'all dance in the heat. And you sat down <laughs> and you have always just had the strong mindset and just have been a leader in a sense and not just, I'm not even going to say giving up, just realizing, hey, he doing a lot, so I'm going to sit down and I've never blamed you for that. <laughs> I'm so proud of the journey that you've come where you've come from and where you are continue to go. Trey, making you sing Get Ready in the original key. You hated me. You truly hated me. And you really walked out of my class that one time and didn't take me for your ninth grade year. And you were trifling for that. And you're not big no more. So for all of those things, you're welcome. However, you make me so proud to be your Papa Bird, and none of my car rides will ever be the same without you. Amaya, seeing you perform that Black History show and crying at the dinner portion of it in the cafeteria, and you finally seeing your true potential is one of the most things I'm most proud of with you. You are so truly amazing, and you don't even know it. You just got to stop, stop doubting yourself and start believing. 
and I'm so glad that now you're a part of my family. <laughs> Donovan, you bother me and me bothering you all the freaking time. You were so annoying. <laughs> but I also appreciate that I feel like one of the reasons that God put me in your life was to help take care of you. And I want you to know that you were never a burden to me. Sigh. My favorite part of you is just knowing how, you knowing how to work a room and just being loved by everyone the second that you walk in. You're so charismatic and you have stories for days and you just know how innocently how to suck me in. And every story you told was so interesting. <laughs> like you can write a book or a whole series on all the things that you talk about. Your biggest strength and your biggest flaw is your ability to just go for it without thinking. And everything you want to go for, you just do it with full force. I need you to learn how to make that work for you. All the time. And I secretly listen to y'all f and music and I enjoy it. Keep pushing. And it really made my year when you came back. Truly. Johnny, Jonathan, my also oh talented Johnny. I don't even know what made me start calling you that. <laughs> you know, I've never, I've gone to plenty of football games in my life, pro football and high school. And I've never genuinely cheered for seeing someone make a touchdown before I went to your homecoming game and saw you make that. You don't know how truly gifted you are. And I was really excited for your directing scene the most. And I'm sad that I can't get to see it, but I'm quite sure in the future I'll be able to get to see some I'll be able to see some of your work. Your presence is so strong when you walk into a room, and I need you to keep that about yourself. Emma, I remember being initially confused when a girl raised her hand after I called the name Emmanuel on the roster after the, on the first day of school. The moment we had after fame when you told me all of those things about you finally getting it and the process helping you and everything, you're probably the first student ever that actually made me feel like I was making a difference. And I appreciate you for that. And you already know the dancing, keep making the stank faces to make it look like you know what you're doing. <laughs> Naomi, you are always a fire actress. Like, from The Lion King to now, you've never disappointed me when it came to delivering some lines. And you're overall just such a kind spirit. And I regret the times that I didn't let you hug me and shrug you off. Abigail! Miss Injury. Prone to injury. <laughs> always getting hurt right before a show. But you're one of the sweetest people. And you're always caring about people and that infectious smile. And always forcing me to hug you. And some of those times I actually really needed it. Victoria, girl, you swore we were best friends. And my lunch break is not your lunch break. <laughs> I'm so happy you got to end your high school years with us. You were the missing piece of the puzzle that we never knew that we needed. And those heart to hearts that we had. I was always honored that you always came to me for help. Ajene, the Remind Queen. There will never, ever, 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 ever be another you. And that's amazing. You're so one of a kind. You know how to make me and everybody else smile every single time you enter a room. And you never carry your pain on your shoulder, and that's so commendable. Every time you used to call me uncle, it always made me smile, because it was like, wow, she really sees me as somebody. And that laugh. <laughs> You're so good and you know it. And at the same time, you don't. And you have the most confidence out of anybody I've ever met in life. Ty, I really I, I really wish I remember cutting you from tomorrow. Just so I could laugh about it. <laughs> the day that you told me you didn't want to be in coffee break, it really broke my heart. And I'm so glad that I was able to talk to talk you back into it and then talk to everybody about it because you were one of the best things about that piece and every time you say Mr. Booth you always stretch my name out I always laughed internally at that 
<laughs> I feel like you didn't like me for a while at first, and I'm glad that that changed. Sean, Shantae, my president. Those one-on-ones that we had all the time, not all the time, the few times that we had those, and me during those times realizing that even though you were so strong, you were still just like a normal teenage girl that needed help. And you were my rock, just like I was yours. And you were always there to protect me and to make sure that I was okay. And I really love you and appreciate you for all of that. Dakari, my my sweet Dakari. <laughs> Always having to go into the think about it pose. <laughs> I really think that you enjoy drama more than you put on. Because I really think like you, I really feel like you liked coming into that classroom all the time. And you finally learned how to tap dance. And I never told you this before, but I'm so proud of you. Because you did something that a lot of people doubted that you could do. And you achieved it. And you're going to keep achieving things in your life. So proud of you. Mr. Whitehead, Devon Whitehead, I really wish you would have applied yourself 100% of the time that you were there because you don't know how badly I wanted to put you on stage. Just so I can see you kill it just one time because I know that you could. And Tuki 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 will always kill me softly. <laughs> Darian, my baby boy, Dare Bear, you are like my most proudest success. I'm so sorry that I didn't want you at first, and I'm also sorry for hitting you with that ball. <laughs> I love picking on you because you're just so pickable. <laughs> and I feel like you feel the same way about me. You're following in my footsteps, now you're about to become a part of my essential theater family. <laughs> You've always made me proud, and you're such a star. And last but not least, Bernard. My favorite part about you is you thinking you were too cool to get up and perform and me wanting to kick you out. However, I will never compare you to your sister Tati again because you are your own performer, your own person, and you're so amazing in your own ways. And you're so freaking funny. And I can never truly be mad with you around. You always kept my spirits lifted. And it also made my year that you finally came back to. But as we go through time, and as we move on with our lives, I'm truly going to miss your class, I feel like, the most out of everybody. And the fact that y'all did not get that last bow on stage kills me. I wish there was a way for me to make sure that you all were able to get that. All of the laughs, all the cries, all the me boxes, all of those one-on-ones in the dressing room, mainly the boy dressing rooms, depending on who the person was, the field trips, <laughs> all the times we would just be able to sit in the room together and just feel each other's energy and spirit and just enjoy each other especially like that day that you all had that senior party well not party but we left the auditorium you all skipped and came to my class i'm gonna miss you all truly 100 thousand percent and there will never be another class like y'all and i'm gonna stop now because i feel like a lump coming to my throat and i'm not going to cry <laughs> But to the class of 2020, you all are rock stars. You're ma amazing. So super duper talented. And I'm so proud to call you mine. Signing off. <laughs>